Hi, everyone. My name is Liz McHugh, and welcome back to another uh, interview. Um, I'm doing a series of videos interviewing people in the community that um, are professionals or business owners that sell products and services that they can help us today in this moment of pandemic. Uh, they can help us with some advice and tips for our daily life. Today, I have Diane Sanders with me. <laughs> Hi, Diane. <laughs> She's hey, how are you, Liz? Uh, medicine and alternative approaches. And today she's gonna be explaining a little bit um, about essential oils and how we can um, use those on our daily life for cleaning, for um, boost our immune system, just pr to protect and help a little bit. Now, I have a little disclaimer with you. Uh, we are not um, medical professionals, so we are gonna share some experiences, on my own experience and all the knowledge that Diane has uh, through the years that she has learned about essential oils. Um, if you wanna use any products, I will recommend to uh, just um, talk to your uh, medical professional for that. Okay, so hi, Diane, welcome. Hello, Glad to hello, have you hello. here. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to be here especially with all this craziness going on <laughs> it is Something positive here it is we have to be positive and just keep going you know uh sure. share what we have and what can help to everybody else so so let's start with uh telling us a little bit about you and how you got into uh the holistic approach sure uh, i am a certified holistic health coach and a certified aromatherapist uh, but I wasn't always that way because I actually started this approach uh, because I had some of my own personal challenges about six years ago. Uh, I started to um, feel some joint pain. Uh, my, my hair was starting to fall out. I was um, gaining weight and just not, not feeling right. Mm -hmm. So I went over to the doctor to, to kind of find out what was going on. And it turned out to be a, a thyroid issue. My, my thyroid was underperforming. And so, you know, I went with the doctor and I, and I asked him, okay, so what, what can we do? You know, what, what can we do to, to mm -hmm. fix that? He says, okay, well, you're going to have to take, you know, blah, blah, blah medication. And I'm like, okay, great. Just give me the pill and how, how long do uh, I need to take that for? And so he says, well, Diane, you're, you're going to have to take that for life. And when he yeah. said for life, wow. Um, I have a biology background and the information with the pharmaceuticals and all that, I was well aware of what all that meant, that for life meant side effects, like we'll go with it. Uh, yeah. Also tolerance, I might have to change into a new medication and now new side effects. And, and that was something that I, I didn't want to do. I refused to do that. So about that time, I had a friend who was uh, learning about different natural approaches and uh, especially essential oils. And so I went, went to a class with her and I found out there were three particular oils that were very good for, for my thyroid, applying them topically, as well as uh, essential oil infused supplements uh, that were part of that too. And so uh, I told my doctor that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted mm -hmm. to um, minimize and kind of wean off the medication because I'd already started. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that he knew because with thyroid medication, you can't just get off of it. You gotta, you gotta wean off of it. So you gotta right. be monitored. And he did that. Uh, and we did that for about three months reducing the medication i'm doing the the essential oils applying topically in the morning and at night and taking the, the supplements and after three months my my thyroid had kicked in and that was about six years ago and Just i no longer months? take medication and the oils i only do for me mm. so that's how i got into this and now it's a okay. great passion for me so i have a couple of questions here um sure. so Right now, in this moment, where there's all respiratory issues going on around, and people is just uh, you know taking care of the hygiene and washing the hands and sanitizing everything, what are the most common oils that you will uh, suggest for people, and how do you use them? You know? So right now, people are very concerned with their immunity, and that's a, a very important concern because there's just so much that's going on around, around us. And so certain oils that are gonna be very good for immunity mm -hmm. uh, are the ones that you're gonna want to be uh, using. Now, I have to say here that purity of the oils is super important. 
I, I've done a lot of investigation with the different brands of oils because right now there's no governing body that can tell marketers what they can say about oils. And as long as it's 1% pure, they can say it's 100% pure. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about our health, about some serious conditions, uh, then we want to make sure that what's on the label is what's in the bottle. So uh, after all my research, I've come to, uh, to, the, to uh, work with doTERRA because there's really no other company that does the amount of testing that they do to ensure the purity of the oils. And they also go to the country where the, where the plant grows the best. Therefore, the oils are going to be that much more therapeutic. So everything I'm going to talk about here is, is referring to doTERRA's oils. Okay. And so, again, going back to boosting our immunity, uh, oils uh, like oregano, powerhouse oil, uh, antimicrobial, uh, oils like thyme, the citruses, lemon, lime. Uh, doTERRA's got a, an immunity, immunity blend that's called On Guard, that if you do a search on uh, Google, um, that you will find that how On Guard and, and has uh, been studied to really work with, with uh, viruses and other microbials. Uh, and on surfaces, and actually being able to um, combat that for up to seven days. And so that is, you know, uh, an oil that a lot of people are using uh, right now and having really good success with that. So you're saying that we can use these oils not only for external use, but you can, we can also, because of the purity of them, we can also ingest them, right? Yes. Again, the purity is going to be super important. And you want to make sure you'll know how pure your oil is. If you see a supplement fact label like this on your oils, if you can mm -hmm. see that right there, it says supplement fat. Right. That label means that you can take this oil internally like a supplement. And you won't find that in most essential oils because they haven't done their testing. So the company is not going to put that on their bottle and, and risk you know, getting a suit on that. So with doTERRA, we can take them internally. And I have different ways that I, that I like to, to be able to do that. I can either do it in a, a couple of drops in yes. a glass of water, uh, I, I can do it in a little capsule, but also aromatically. Aromatically is very, uh, very helpful uh, in a diffuser, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, but also, you can just put a couple drops in your hand, rub and inhale deeply. 100% of the components go into your blood cells and into your brain. And topically, again, topically, it, it will be uh, something that you can do as well. So I went uh, two days ago trying to get vitamin C for my husband. And I could not find it. Like uh, I, we go to beaches and there was nothing. So I thought I'm not just going to give it water and some drops of, of lemon in there, right? Would that be equal, kind of like what, what I'm trying to do here? Well, the essential oils don't have vitamins or anything of that, that nature. Okay. Remember, these are distilled from the plants. But what they do is that they work at the cellular level. So mm -hmm. we're wanting to boost up our cell communication. We're wanting to make sure that the, you know, the, the, the cells aren't clogged with toxins. And so that's what the essential oils do. They're actually able to penetrate the cell membranes and work within the cell and work outside the cell, which is why you know, they, they do a really good job with uh, microbials. Okay, got it. So um, for cleaning, just cleaning purposes, which one of the oils you use the most and how do you prepare the mist, the bottle? I don't know. What examples do you have for that? Yeah, you can find a, you know, a number of different things on the internet right now, more natural things that you can use. But one of the ones that I really like a lot, uh, again, I mentioned the uh, immunity blend on guard. Mm -hmm. That's one that I, you know, I've been doing in my house. I take a, like a 16 ounce spray bottle and uh, I'll you know, fill it with water and put about a, a quarter cup of vinegar in there. Okay. And then I'll add about 30 drops of the uh, On Guard oil. Okay. But you can also mix it up and uh, maybe put some uh, lavender or one of the citruses in there or even put like On Guard and citrus and, and do like you know, 15 drops of, let's say you were doing lavender and 15 drops of On Guard. And then just always make sure to shake it up when you're spraying it. And so now you, you know, you're, you're doing a good job in, in cleaning up, but you, can, you have no problem even eating off of that surface. So. Okay. So it, when you mix the, the essential oils, is there any, anything that says, no, you cannot mix these two because it will not have the effect that you're looking for, or it doesn't really matter. You can't mix anything there. How that works. 
Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to be, you know, you want to be your own health detective. You want to see what is it that I'm trying to accomplish okay. you know, with myself and my family. And I'm all about, you know, not just selling people oils, but teaching them, training them how to go about using their, their oil, having a, a, an, a resource book. And of course they have me, I have uh, different uh, re, uh, resources that they can turn to when wanting to know how to apply that to themselves. So, uh, you know, a book, let's say I, I do like a little reference book like that. They can look up the oils that they have and say, okay, well, this oil is, you know, it's, it's you know, and antioxidant, analgesic, and, and does this and this and that. And so I can mix, you know, if we're looking for antibacterial, we'll look at the oils that are antibacterial and maybe do a little mix that way. Okay. But it's all about training, and I'm, uh, that's something that I really focus on people and teaching them how to become their own health detective. Yeah, I can testify to that. You're always willing to teach and always willing to help. Uh, when I have questions about what, what I'm feeling this, what can I use? And, <laughs> and you're always really quick to answer my test messages. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so like when we use it. <laughs> Thank you. When we use the oils for uh, for children, um, is there any recommendation in that? Do you have to dilute them? What do you use for that? Yeah, so for children, I always like to dilute, you know, because they have more sensitive skin, mm -hmm. they're smaller bodies, and um, and so you want to be able to dilute with a carrier oil like um, uh, coconut oil or olive oil or almond oil, any of those those oils you can put a little bit of that in order to dilute it and make it, you know, make it for more uh, sensitive skin. Even for older, older uh, uh, folks, they might have more sensitive skin and you'll want to dilute. But because of the purity of doTERRA, you can actually use it neat. Neat means without any of that carrier oil uh, and not worry about it. But again, for children, I, I go with diluting it. Yeah, I noted, I noticed that, especially with uh, peppermint. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. was very cautious to please don't touch your face, your eyes. <laughs> boy, that hurt. Hurt. <laughs> it's been wonderful for opening up airways and breathing, and and as a, I love it. Yeah. So uh, right now, uh, do you have a special routine that you do with uh, your session? You know, how do you start in the morning? What's the first thing you do? I like to put some um, lavender in my hand, just smell it, and peppermint too. So it just wakes me up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, something like that. So what, what do you do? What is your routine with your oils? Okay. Well, first of all, my, my, my routine, as I mentioned earlier when I was talking about my thyroid, mm -hmm. essential oil and few supplements. The supplements are really important. These are uh, supplements that doTERRA have that are called Lifelong Vitality. And it's three things, uh, three different products in one, uh, in one box, but it's a multivitamin uh, made from whole foods where the body can actually recognize because most things start with our diet, right? And, and it's important that we are taking in the right vitamins and minerals and omega fatty acids. And even if we're eating well, even if we're eating organic, the soil of today is not the same soil of our grandparents or great grandparents. It doesn't have the same nutrients. So no matter how well you're, you're, uh, you're eating, everybody needs to supplement. And the thing with supplements is they're, they're, it's, it's a you know, multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar industry and there's a lot of junk out there. So having something that they, the body can actually absorb is really important. And so I take these first thing in the morning, uh, the omega fatty acids have the essential oils in them. It's a capsule with nine different essential oils in them. And so there I'm already helping with, with my cells from, from the get-go early on. Then I'm um, diffusing. I've got diffusers in my kitchen. I got them in my office, uh, in the bedroom at night for sleep. And so I'm having different things that I might be diffusing. Uh, and right now I've actually put all my, my oils, I have them in, in a case and I put them in the kitchen. They're alphabetized. And I've told mm -hmm. my family that every time they come by, they have to take out an oil, you know, in their alphabetic order. Okay. So the next oil that comes out, and just put a couple of drops in their hands, rub it on the back of their neck and, and inhale it. And I put the reference book there in case they want to learn what that oil does. But they're, they're, they're helping their body and using all sorts of different avenues with the different oils. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're giving themselves, you know, a boost. So that's kind of what I do. And, 
And then at night with sleep, there's, you know, different supplements that can help with that as well. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I also share a lot of that with my children. They already know me. I have two diffusers at home. One is the studio and one is upstairs. So they're always asking me, why are you using, why are you combining? Sometimes that may be a <laughs> weird combination. <laughs> it's like, mom, what's that? <laughs> But yeah, that, they, that is cool that you're you're taking the initiative to just say, you know, let me see what the, how this will work and how these will work together because you'll find, you know, ones that you're going to really be attracted to. And those are the ones that your body needs. So, yeah. And right now, what my daughter is having a cold. So she is using a lot of the uh, brief um, cold, cold drops. And um, I also put that and make it inhale the way you show it to me. And she comes every night and says, Mom, can you put the oil in my hand? <laughs> so she's getting mm -hmm. used to using it now. And uh, it's, it's just pretty good to see that. Um, so do you have anything else that you would like to share with us before uh, I, I ask you about your information, where people can um, find you, a website? No, it's just it's really important right now. Uh, anxiety and, and stress are some of the key things that are going on right now. And sometimes that is worse than any physical thing that's going on because when you're stressed out, anxious, you have a lot of cortisol that's running in your body. Normally cortisol is, is that fight or flight hormone and it's good when you need to escape danger, but it's meant to be just temporary. And when we're anxious uh, or stressed out a lot, then there's this low lying bath of cortisol going on in our body. And what that does is that it actually reduces the capacity of our virus, you know, our virus fighting cells. Yeah. And so keeping ourselves active because when you're in fight or flight like that all the time, it's because you feel that you can't do anything, that your hands are tied and that's going on, uh, you know, continually. And so when you know, Hey, I, I know I can do things. I can do something different. I can do stuff that can help me. That will alleviate some of that anxiety. So walking every day, getting out, you know, rain or shine, I say, and, and breathing that air in, eating well, eating your veggies, because that's where a lot of those digestive enzymes are, 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 are given to you. Uh, you know, just, just making sure, you know, of, of showing love and, and talking that with talking to your friends and family on Zoom, on, you know, things like this, um, FaceTime, those are, are really important things. And then the oils are just another, another tool, but all those together are what's going to help us reduce some of that anxiety and stress. Yeah, definitely. Don't, don't lose a connection. People need that connection. And, For sure. and even if it's through the, through the screen, you know, that's, that's all we can do right now, but we have to adapt to the circumstances. So, yes. so where, where people can find you, um, Diane, if they want well, more. My, yeah, uh, my website is called thehealthdetective.us, as in you and me, thehealthdetective.us, because I want you to be your own health detective, as I've mentioned before. Uh, so people can go there and, um, and get information, but also right now uh, we're doing a special uh, case studies where you know if you, you feel that you are, you're not ready to quite to get your own kit of oils or anything like that but you want to see what it's all about then this is a, a great opportunity we're going to be starting on uh, april 13th but right now we're doing the registrations for that we're working on uh five different studies uh digestive issues allergies stress uh, uh pain and uh let me see we got okay yeah digestive issues so I'm thinking, all right, it'll, I'll come back to me. But if you go to my website, you'll see a tab that'll say uh, case studies instructions. And you can see if you want to be part of that and you, just, you get uh, three, uh, um, the three products to test. It's over a seven day case study. So people can, can do it there. But that's the information that, that they can find stuff. I also know you have a couple of Facebook groups that you share a lot of information. Is that, is that also on your website? Uh, no, the Facebook group is called EO Community Public Education. EO as an essential oil, community okay. public education, and that's open uh, to anybody. We do uh, constant education on there uh, for people who have oils already or who, who don't, who just want to learn. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all this with us. I really oh, appreciate it. So
<laughs> and I appreciate you too. You know, I wasn't surprised that you're going to be doing something like this, you know, where you're opening up to the community and, and just seeing how businesses can help others because just in your pictures that you do, you know, you have such a unique specialty in the way that you do pictures and that you're looking for the beauty in people and you pull that out. So here you're finding the beauty in the different businesses and pulling that out. And I really appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to cry. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, video is now my comfort zone. So it's, it's taking a lot of me just going out and setting everything up. And I really enjoy connecting one-on-one. -on -one. And if I can't do it in person, this is the best way for me to connect. You there know? You 